Hello there, welcome to Disney Parks Addict. Today, I'll be sharing my guide for all the hotels and resorts at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, including the brand new Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser that opened on March 1st, 2022. I will go through all the hotels alphabetically, but I've included chapters if you're looking for a particular resort, and at the end of the video, I have included an estimated price guide of all the resorts, so you can compare them all together. Let's start with the All Star Resorts, which is comprised of three different hotels. The Music and Sports Resorts were completed in 1994, and the Movies Resort was added in 1999. These are value resorts and are great for families with young children as it features many Disney character statues and a bright color palette. As they are value resorts, these hotels are one of the cheapest ways to stay in a Disney property. Similar to the other value resorts, there is limited dining options and amenities, but enough to keep the younger guests happy. As for location, it is a little bit out of the way, but it only takes 20 to 25 minutes to all the Disney parks via the Disney buses. Next up, we have one of my favorite resorts, Animal Kingdom Lodge. This deluxe resort has some of the best theming that Disney has to offer and it is based off an African wildlife reserve which gives guests the amazing savannah view from the comfort of their own rooms. With an impressive lobby area, swimming pools and activities, there is so much to do and take in at this resort. The dining options don't disappoint as well and offers authentic African, Indian and European cuisines with Sanaa being a highlight. It is also one of the cheapest deluxe resorts which makes it perfect for families with young children but it's great for guests of all ages. Obviously, this resort is the best to get to Animal Kingdom, but can take a little longer to get to the other Disney parks. Moving on to the second value resort in this guide, Art of Animation was added in 2012 and is one of the newest Disney resorts on property. Offering rooms and suites in four heavily themed areas, this is another great resort for young families. It has the largest pool of any of the Disney resorts, as well as standard Disney amenities like an arcade and movies under the stars. It is the most expensive value resort, but with the addition of the newly built Disney Skyliner, it makes getting to the parks much easier and faster. Now for another deluxe resort, Disney's Beach Club. This resort has a great location, giving perfect views of Disney's boardwalk and is within walking distance of Epcot and Hollywood Studios. It shares amenities with its sister hotel, Disney's Yacht Club, including Storm Along Bay, a three-acre pool complex featuring a full-size shipwreck, water slide, and lazy river. It also has great dining options, including Cape May Cafe that offers amazing breakfast and surf and turf buffets. You can also enjoy the gym and spa treatments in the Ship Shape Massage Salon Fitness Center. Straight across the Crescent Lake from the Beach Club is another deluxe resort, Disney's Boardwalk Inn. It features an authentic boardwalk reminiscent of Coney Island, with many restaurants, bars and shops. Also, with close proximity of Epcot's World Showcase, this gives guests a huge variety of dining options. It has great facilities, including one of the best pool areas, a fully serviced spa, as well as fishing and campfire activities. Disney's Boardwalk Inn also offers villas for larger parties, as well as the standard and club level rooms and suites. We now move on to the first moderate hotel in this guide, Caribbean Beach Resort. This is actually where I used to work during my Disney College program over 10 years ago. And although it has changed a lot throughout the years, it still has that fun and upbeat Caribbean vibe. This huge resort is also linked up to the Disney Skyliner for convenient access to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. It has recently had a renovation to its main hub area with the inclusion of a new restaurant, Sebastian's Bistro, which has been getting great reviews from guests and Disney veterans. It has many pools throughout the resort as well as pirate-themed cruises for children to enjoy. At over half the price of most of the deluxe resorts, this makes it a great choice for families on a budget. 
The next resort opened in 1971 alongside Magic Kingdom. The Contemporary is a deluxe resort located within walking distance to Magic Kingdom, offering spectacular views of the castle or the Seven Seas Lagoon. It has been continually updated throughout the years, keeping its modern feel. It has a monorail running through the hotel, which is always an awesome sight to see. The Contemporary has 10 dining options, including its signature restaurant, California Grill. Being so close to Magic Kingdom, it can take a little extra time to get to the other parks, especially Animal Kingdom. In 2009, the Bay Lake Tower was added to the Contemporary Resort, which mainly offers villas, rooms and suites to DVC members, but it's still available for cash reservations. Our second moderate resort is up next, which is Coronado Springs. This is another large resort with a beautiful Mexican, American Southwest theming. In 2019, they added the Salvador Dali-inspired Gran Destino Tower, which also includes Toledo, a stunning new rooftop restaurant. In the middle of the lake that the resort surrounds, another new restaurant was added. The Three Bridges Bar & Grill offers a delightful menu of Spanish and American cuisine. The main pool area is great and this is the only moderate resort with a spa and fitness center. As the cheapest of all the moderate resorts, I think it's great for families with older children or two couples that don't mind sharing a room. Next up is something a little unique and that is the Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. They offer cabins and areas for people to set up tents or hook up their RVs. The resort hosts an amazing dinner show, the Hoop De Doo Musical Review. A buffet restaurant called Trails End and an RV themed food truck are among the resort's other dining options. As for recreation, this resort has it all. Fishing, horseback riding, kayaking, canoeing and archery are just some of the activities that you can take part in. I understand that camping isn't everyone's cup of tea, but you can't deny that this is a very unique way to stay at the Walt Disney World Resort. We will now take a look at the newest experience that has just opened at Walt Disney World. This is of course the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser that opened on March 1st, 2022. This is an ultra immersive two day experience where you'll embark on a special cruise on board the Halcyon Star Cruiser where you can create your own unique Star Wars adventure and become part of the story. One of the best things about the Galactic Star Cruiser is all the food, drinks and snacks are included in the price. Along with all the interactions with the new and familiar Star Wars characters, you can choose to take part in as much or as little as you please, which will make everyone's journey completely unique. You could join the Resistance in a secret mission or become a First Order spy. The choice is yours. Throughout your stay, you could take part in a selection of activities including lightsaber training, learning to fly the ship, and even take a trip to Batu. This is truly a unique experience which could pave the way for the future of themed entertainment as we know it. If you want to find out more about the Galactic Star Cruiser, you can check out a more detailed video right here. Before we move on to Disney's Grand Floridian, if you haven't already booked your next or first Disney trip, then why not check out UndercoverTourist.com for some great deals on Disney hotels and tickets. And if you're watching from the UK, take a look at the amazing Disney packages that Virgin Holidays are offering right now. Both my affiliate links are in the description box below, so go check it out to see how much you could save on your next Disney vacation. Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa is a Victorian-themed luxury hotel located opposite the Magic Kingdom. It's known as Walt Disney World's flagship hotel and for good reason. Boasting over 10 dining locations, including the most expensive restaurant on property, Victoria and Albert's. Various recreation facilities, including boat rentals, amazing swimming pools, and of course, the spa. The resort also has a Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, which lets children aged 3 to 12 be transformed into an elegant princess or a shining knight. To get to the Magic Kingdom, you can either take the monorail or take a stroll on the newly built walkway. And of course, you can take the regular Disney buses to the other Disney parks. Next up is the Disney Vacation Club Resort Old Key West. This was the first DVC resort opening in 1991 and offers rooms with kitchen and laundry facilities. As it is a DVC resort, it doesn't have a lot of dining options, but Olivia's Cafe is famous for its fried chicken 
and is certainly a treat. It is a big resort and offers some great recreational facilities including pools, arcades, a gym, fishing and bike rentals just to name a few. You will be able to access Disney Springs by taking the complimentary boat service and the different parks by the standard Disney bus transportation. Although it is predominantly a DVC resort, you can still book a studio or villa through the regular channels. If you're a fan of Adventureland in the Magic Kingdom, you will love this next option, Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. As one of only two opening day on-site resorts, the Polynesian still holds up as one of Disney's best hotels and without a doubt a guest favorite. The resort is based on a South Seas theme and features traditional architecture and numerous cultural references to the South Pacific Islands throughout the resort. It offers great dining options like Ohana's and Captain Cook's and it even has its own tiki bar. As well as being my favorite of the three monorail resorts, it also is usually cheaper than the Contemporary and Grand Floridian. Our final value resort in this guide is Disney's Pop Century Resort. Opening in 2003, this resort is themed to the 20th century American pop culture from the 50s all the way up to the 1990s with giant Disney themed and other nostalgic items displayed throughout the resort. Similar to the other value resorts, there aren't a lot of dining options, just a standard quick service restaurant offering burgers, pizzas, salads and other entrees. There are three pools to choose from with the Hippy Dippy Pool being the largest, which also includes a pool bar offering cocktails, wines and beers. Other facilities include an arcade, an outdoor playground and a jogging trail. Now on to the final two moderate hotels at Disney's Port Orleans Resort. The French Quarter has a New Orleans theme with cobblestone streets, gas lamps and wrought iron balconies, while Riverside has an Old South theme with the stately white column mansions and quaint backwards cottages along the bayou. Both hotels offer some amazing recreational activities including pools, arcades, outdoor playgrounds as well as horse-drawn carriage rides. They also each offer a nice selection of dining locations, offering all the favorites from the New Orleans and other classic American dishes. This is a great way to enjoy immersive Disney theming at a moderate price tag. Next up is the new DVC Deluxe Hotel, Disney's Riviera Resort, which was added at the end of 2019. It was inspired from Walt and Lillian Disney's adventurous travels throughout Europe. The architecture, decoration, and dining are all based around the Mediterranean style. It is located close to Epcot and Hollywood Studios and it has the advantage of having its own Skyliner station for extra convenience. Riviera Resort has a nice selection of restaurants and a bar including Topolino's Terrace, a delightful rooftop restaurant offering classic European cuisine. Being one of the smallest resorts on Disney property, it still has an amazing pool and fitness center. On to the biggest DVC resort, Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. This was of course inspired by the upstate New York city of Saratoga Springs with its theme and Victorian style buildings and horse racing. I was lucky enough to stay here a few years ago and even though it is a large resort, it has a very relaxing vibe and is great for larger families. It hasn't got a huge selection of dining options, but with a complimentary boat service to Disney Springs, this isn't too much of a problem. It has some unique activities like painting and yoga classes and a golf course, as well as regular facilities like pools, arcades, and bike rentals. Our second to last resort is Disney's Wilderness Lodge a rustic majesty of America's great northwest. Inspired by turn-of-the-century national park lodges, this deluxe resort celebrates American craftsmanship and honors the beauty of the untamed wilderness. Opening in 1994 and with the same architect as Animal Kingdom Lodge, it has a really impressive lobby area with authentic totem poles and a huge fireplace. The Whispering Canyon Cafe is such great fun with their bottomless platters served with attitude. And with an artificial geyser and hot springs on the resort grounds, this is such a stunning resort. Facilities include two unique pool areas, a gym, an arcade, and a salon. You can take a free water taxi directly to Magic Kingdom and each night you can see the amazing Electrical Water Pageant, a small but wonderful show featuring brightly colored floats playing classic Disney songs. We now come to the final resort in this guide, Disney's Yacht Club Resort. 
this is very similar to its sister resort, Disney's Beach Club, except its theming is to a New England style yacht club. Some of the activities include a pirate adventure cruise and the miniature golf course, Fantasia Gardens, is only a short walk away. As I said before, Disney's Yacht Club shares some facilities with the beach club, so you'll be able to use the pool areas, spa and other recreational activities at both resorts. The Disney Skyliner also links the resorts to Disney's Hollywood Studios, which makes it easier and faster to enjoy the Disney magic. So that completes our guide for all the resorts at Walt Disney World. And like I said, go check out my affiliate links for UndercoverTourist.com for some great deals on Disney hotels and tickets and Virgin Holidays for some amazing Disney packages if you're traveling from the UK. Go check them out to see how much you could save on your next Disney vacation. Obviously, all the resorts vary wildly in price, so here they are all together for their standard rooms for two adults and two children. Most of the resorts offered preferred rooms at an extra charge, as well as some deluxe resorts offering suites, club level rooms, and even two or three bedroom villas, which all vary in an extra cost. If this video has helped you in any way, then don't forget to spread the Disney magic and hit the like button. And if you have stayed at any of these resorts, let me know what you liked or didn't like in a comment down below. If you want to know more about the Walt Disney World Resort, then check out this guide for all 87 rides and attractions found at the four main parks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addict.